All right, we're gonna tie a uh, green, CDC green McKenzie with a foam body. And this is a uh, upcoming hatch in the next, hopefully, week or two, uh, max. Um, but typically end of April, a uh, large green caddis adult that just flops around the surface, super active. Um, when it gets on the water, it tends to really move quickly and, uh, and in both its egg laying and emerging stages. Uh, and so it spends quite a bit of time near or on the surface and because of that the CDC um, hackle on this uh, adult and this imitation really kicks off a lot of action and, and legs and wing movement and I think the fish love it. It's been a really good pattern the last few years. So foam body CDC hackle deer hair wing. So it's somewhat of an adaptation from the standard uh, green Mackenzie caddis that we've done with the uh, Grizzly hackle, um, it's going to use CDC and we're going to use a foam body. So nice CDC feather from uh, Spirit River or Wapsi. I'm going to clear the tip uh, so that I tie this in by the very fragile tip section of this. Um, I might recommend that you do a cross rib with mono or thread. For, for our video here, I'm going to keep it real clean and try to make it look pretty good, but it may not be as durable as taking um, some mono and running it with the hackle on up. But I'm tying in my CDC feather first. My next step is to take this two millimeter foam and cut a real thin strip um, that will become my body. Tie that in in the back. Uh, trying to keep this pretty thin back here. I can always use this foam and taper up as I get closer to the front of the fly, but that's my uh, foam body. And at this point I would tie in the, the mono if I wanted to cross rip it. And it's not, you don't have to. Um, it's just a thought in terms of durability. Now I'm gonna uh, wrap this foam up the shank. And I really, I like the color combination of this dun CDC feather and this green foam. It's really a good match to the natural. The natural is very a great deal. Uh, some will be really bright green with their underwing. Some will be darker, but I like this uh, foam, whether I'm using Grizzly or this CDC, because it tends to um, maintain its color even if I hackle through it. Uh, you know, you're still able to see that brightness, which I, I mean, the, the caddis, they, they do quite get quite bright looking. So I'm gonna, uh, there's my foam body. Now I'm gonna take my hack applier. I'm gonna run this CDC up through here and uh, this can be a bit uh, unwieldy here. These feathers, these fibers get a little wild. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly uh, work my way up with these and, and try to make the natural curve of the feather work with me going back and and hopefully these fibers don't mat down and if they do I'm gonna kind of force them back and actually this this one is working out better than a couple previous but if they get if they get matched mashed down just kind of work with them pulling them towards you or away from you so that that those fibers so you, you get all the CDC fibers splaying off the stem is what I'm trying to get at and, and as I get closer here I want to work those out and you can see like this feather was kind of short so I'm running out of room but just barely make it and then your durable point on this thicker stem will be fine when I tie that off. I'm going to tie that off right up by the head and that, that'll be pretty durable up front. And it, that Those CDC fibers are, are somewhat uneven but that's okay. I mean, this this stuff when it gets wet, just it's killer. Just moves around, and I'm gonna put a wing over that. And if you really wanted to get uh, picky with it, you could pinch these and make them all uniform. But I don't, I don't think that's important. I think in terms of how this fly fishes, uh, more CDC the better. I'm just cleaning this head up a bit and developing a platform to tie my hair head, my wing. So what I did was closest to the body. I didn't want it sloping off like this. I wanted to come forward and develop a place that was a little bit higher in elevation than right off the body and that's where my deer hair wing is going to sit. That really makes a big difference when you're using hair is actually making a spot for it to sit rather than a, a sloping angle. So some nice deer hair, uh, all-purpose deer, compared on deer um, for my wing. Pull a nice big chunk out of there about the diameter of a pencil, 
pull out the under fur, kind of expose the tips so if I can get as much of that under fur out as possible. And then I'm going to stack this up. much but uh, I like these slides to really stay up. I can always reduce it. I can't add more very easily. So I'm going to measure that and I want that coming right down back to the bend of the hook in terms of my length. And then what I do is grab it with the hand I'm going to tie it down with, use a good sharp pair of scissors and cut just in front of my thumb and forefinger and that's where I'm going to tie that in and I don't have to go back and cut uh, to, to length. I can put that right in and make that loose wrap initially to grab. I'm really pinching tightly trying to keep that from spinning, trying to keep that hair right on top of the head. And that'll be a nice little tuft of deer. So now I am, whoa, finish that fly right up front. So really nice uh, silhouette when this thing gets wet. I mean it looks awesome fish looking up to this, the catches air bubbles, stays afloat, moves around fantastic. And then the heavy wing uh, really keeps the fly floating. And I, I th a CDC is great all by itself, but boy, when you add the deer to it, it really makes it fish a lot better to, in terms of flotation. CDC Green Mackenzie Caddis, end of April, all of May, killer fly.